head. At the start, you have an image in your head. And even if you've worked out on paper, that image will change as you're doing the work. And a lot of the time, or most artists, I think, when they're doing it, they don't like what they're doing. Or, I don't know, some, some paintings work out straight away as soon as you do them, and some take ages, and some you're happy with at the end, and some you're not. This one I was kind of, I didn't, I knew what I was going to do, but I didn't want to plan it fully because I like not knowing what's going to happen. And I always think like, it doesn't re really matter what you think, if you like it or not. Because sometimes you have an image and you just have to get it out there, to get it out of your head, because it just otherwise destroys your mind. So yeah, I had to get that image out of my head because I had it for ages since I had the idea to do the painting. And that's how it's come out. So some people like it, some people that's the image. Um, I've always drawn and done art like, all my life. And um, then I studied at a college, I left school at 16. I studied at a college, a university. And then I've always had, I've always been doing art. Um, on this painting I mainly used acrylics and spray paint. And I used uh, a spray paint from a company called DuPont, who are partners with Caterham. And they use those actual spray paints to spray the cars. So it's slightly different from the paint that I normally use. Uh, and it came out a little bit different, but the yellow was really nice. And um, so we got the specific colours, so that was quite good. I still have a Formula One car, so I got an image of a Formula One car and then photoshopped it, so I, it was really basic. I didn't want it really detailed. Um, if I wanted to do, I'm not really into, I like it to be a bit abstract, but you can still tell what it is. And then I had like shapes coming off it, the gracing green and the yellow coming off it, but in um, quite perspective kind of abstract shapes to show the speed and to show the dynamics of the car. Uh, and then I first of all I like did the flat colours, but I wanted it to be a bit scrappy and then do the car over it in black. And then yeah, I don't like it, I don't like things to be perfect. And then did the Caterham uh, writing in italics. So it's not the proper logo, but it's quite nice writing and that's cut out of the wallpaper, so it's two tones. It's what I do. I used to question why I did it and why I wasn't clever at other things, but I think some people can see visual things and uh, express themselves visually. And once you just accept that that's what you do, then that's what you do. And then you can embrace it more and start getting better and better. Yeah. I'm influenced by different things, so my style is sort of street art, pop art and graphics mixed together. It's, I don't do art on the street, so I'm not a street artist, but it's that kind of style and quick painting and yeah, and kind of like pop art as well, like big colours, layers, loads of layers. Well, my name's David White, so it's quite an average name. So I thought um, all my work, when I was talking to my friends, uh, I always used to say, like, you've got to be positive, you, there's, you can, there's so much to do in life and there's so much to do with your artwork. And I've always, I always used to say the possibilities are endless. So I used that as, as a name for my art, because I thought it was quite good. And I've always got endless ideas and endless things that I have to do within creativity. So it's a good word for, for me. So I just use that in my art.